$53 million was stolen from Dixon, Illinois, all because of a lack of segregation of duties. So what is segregation of duties? Simply put, when you're designing your accounting system, you want multiple people involved in each process. In Dixon, Illinois, Rita Cronwell was the sole person that was performing several duties within the city. She was keying in transactions. She was signing checks. She was reconciling the bank statements. So really, she almost alone was doing every function. And this is a big time no-no. If somebody can perform all functions, such as keying in transactions, such as reconciling bank statements, such as generating the reports. If, if one person can do all things, then it's easy for them to steal and then to hide the theft. So in a small government or in a small business or in a small nonprofit, sometimes it looks like you may not be able to segregate the duties because there's only one or two people in accounting. So how can you overcome this situation where you lack uh, a number of people in order to delegate each of these accounting functions to various people? One thing you can do is have the bank statement sent to somebody other than the bookkeeper. So if we go back to Dixon, Illinois, then the bank statements could have been mailed to the mayor, for example, or to one of the council members. And once they receive those bank statements, all they would do is open the statements and review the activity there for appropriateness. Now, after they did this, they could put everything back in the envelope and hand it to the bookkeeper and let the bookkeeper perform the reconciliation from there. But you want to initially send the bank statement to somebody other than the bookkeeper. So that's one way to overcome a lack of segregation of duties. The second thing you can do is perform surprise audits. So periodically, you would have an external CPA or even the mayor or one of the council members, say, in the Dixon, Illinois situation, perform surprise tests of the accounting records. So let's say Dixon had hired me or some other CPA to periodically just show up, perform surprise tests, in payroll or in disbursements or in receipts. And so if you use this tool, what you're trying to do is introduce the thought to the bookkeeper that if I steal, there's a chance that Charles might come in, do the surprise test and catch me. But if nobody's performing any surprise tests, and if those bank statements aren't going to an external person, then it's easy for somebody like Rita Cronwell, who stole the $53 million in Dixon, to start thinking, I can do what I want to do, and nobody will ever know that I'm stealing money. So the two, two ways that I'm saying to you that you can overcome a lack of segregation of duties is one, mailing the bank statement to somebody other than the bookkeeper, allow them to review the activity, and then provide the statement to the bookkeeper. The second way is performing surprise checks or surprise tests. And again, you can have an external CPA do this, or you might use somebody internal that's not a part of the regular accounting duties. The, the main thing here is you just want the bookkeeper to think, if I steal, there's a chance that I would get caught. 